Hey friends, this is Rajon and in today's video we are going to have a look at the summary of the poem Amanda. And this is written by Robin Clay. In this poem, a girl named Amanda is being commanded to do multiple things by her mother or her father. I mean, it's not mentioned in the poem that exactly who is talking to Amanda, but we will assume that it's her parents. So anyway, in between these commands, she goes inside her imaginary world in her mind and thinks about different things which we will find out in this point. So let's go. Don't bite your nails, Amanda. Don't haunch your shoulders, Amanda. Stop that slouching and sit up straight, Amanda. So as you can see, in this stanza, this girl named Amanda is being told not to bite her nails and not to move her shoulders. Here, haunch means bending forward in a round shape. Also, Amanda is being commanded to stop moving her body in a lazy way and sit up straight. Here slouching means sitting or standing in a lazy way with head and shoulders hanging down. There's a languid emerald sea where the sole inhabitant is me, a mermaid drifting blissfully. Now you can see that this complete stanza is inside the bracket. The reason being all these things are what Amanda is thinking about in her mind rather than paying attention to what her mother or father is saying to her. She imagines herself as a mermaid who is moving freely and happily alone in a green sea which is really calm. And here emerald sea means a sea which water looks green and its waves are not aggressive and calm. Soul means alone and inhabitant refers to a person that lives in a place. And here Amanda imagines herself as an inhabitant of that sea. The mermaid is an aquatic creature with the head and upper body of a female human and tail of a fish. And lastly, drifting means moving slowly without any purpose. The next stanza says, Did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? I thought I told you to clean your shoes, Amanda. So in this stanza, again Amanda is being asked whether she completed her homework and arranged her room properly or not. As we said earlier that we have to assume that it's either Amanda's mother or father who is talking to her. So here probably her mother or father is also inquiring whether Amanda cleaned her shoes or not, which she was told to do earlier. I am an orphan roaming the street. I pattern soft dust with my husband, bare feet. The silence is golden, the freedom is sweet. Again coming back to the imaginary world of Amanda, as in this stanza she imagines herself as an orphan who randomly roams around the streets. When she is roaming with her husband, both of their footprints will be left in the dust. And the freedom and the peacefulness she would have had at that point of time would be just amazing for her. Now we have the last stanza. Don't eat that chocolate Amanda, remember your acne Amanda. Will you please look at me when I am speaking to you Amanda. In this part, Amanda is being asked not to eat chocolates which she was already having and she is also reminded about her acne which does get triggered by eating chocolates. But it seemed like Amanda wasn't paying a serious attention to the things that were being said to her. So the speaker here is telling Amanda to be serious and to have a look at him or her. So this was your poem and to be honest this is not a very difficult poem but you have to pay attention to understand it. Just don't be like Amanda who is not paying attention here. So anyway I have mentioned the word meanings during the explanation you can note these down and if you still have any confusion related to any word any stanza or any part of this poem then let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video until then take care.